Okay, so uh, if you follow our Discord server, which you totally should, uh, you'll know that I was initially going to make a video about the PS5. Unfortunately, I pay for Amazon Prime, so naturally my shipment that I ordered is being delayed by several days. And yeah, I'm gonna call an audible on this one and show you in this video how you can stream games from your PS5 to the Steam Deck. Roll the thing. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and turn on our PS5 and just sign in. It'll make things easier for later. Next, turn on your Steam Deck and switch it to desktop mode. Now for this video, I definitely recommend that you get yourself an external keyboard and mouse to use with your Steam Deck. It's not needed for this tutorial. You can definitely follow along just using the Steam Deck itself, but it is so much easier if you have these things. So definitely go ahead and grab these and set it up with your Steam Deck. After you've connected your keyboard and mouse, open up the Discover App Store. Then search for the app Chiaki and click Install, but don't open it after it's done. Instead, go to the Steam Deck icon in the bottom left corner, then go to System and open the console app. Now, I'm gonna be completely transparent with you here. I'm not a Linux user, and I don't really understand how to use the terminal well, and nor do I understand how these following commands work. Um, just follow along and everything should work out just fine. In the console app, you're gonna go ahead and enter this command first. I'll throw it up on the screen and feel free to pause the video here if you need to. I'll also put each command in the description down below for you to copy if that helps. After you've typed it in, hit enter, and then let the command finish running. And again, I'll leave this in the description if you wanna copy it for yourself. Go ahead and hit enter, and like last time, just let it run. Next, enter the following command, hit enter, and let it run. Once that's done, enter the final command, hit enter, and when it's done running, you should see the message, open the following URL in your browser and log in. Go ahead and right click on the URL below and click open link. Here, you're going to sign into your PSN account. After signing in, it'll show a page that simply says redirect. Copy the URL at the top of this page and go back to the console app. Paste the link here and press enter. Now you'll see a message that says, this is your account ID. Copy the string of text underneath this and double check that your PS5 is still powered on. Then go ahead and launch the Chiaki app. Once Chiaki opens, you should see your console displayed. If your console says ready, just double click on it. And where it says PSN account ID base 64, paste the string we copied earlier. Now let's go ahead and hop over to our PS5. Go to settings, system, then remote play. Make sure remote play is enabled. Then go to link device. Here you'll get a random eight digit code. Go back to Chiaki on your Steam Deck and type that code into the pin section. Click register and you should see a message that says the console has been registered successfully. All right, we're at the home stretch now. Let's head over to the Steam Deck in desktop mode for one final thing. While still in desktop mode, go ahead and close the Chiaki app. Then go ahead and launch Steam. Click on add a new game to Steam, then click add a non-Steam game. Check the box next to Chiaki and then click add selected program. And there you go, now you're all set up. Now you can go to gaming mode on your Steam Deck, open Chiaki in the non-Steam game section, select your system and you should be connected. The only other thing you'll want to do is set up a key binding for the PlayStation Home button. Just assign the escape key to your button of choice and you're ready to stream some games. As far as my overall gameplay experience goes on the Steam Deck, I really haven't noticed anything different than I would notice on something like a phone or a similar device. Personally, I just think PlayStation's remote play has honestly never been the best and it could use some improvements in the quality department. But with that being said, I can't deny that streaming PS5 games on this thing isn't really cool. It's just another thing that I can play on my Steam Deck that really just makes me love this device even more. And yeah, that about wraps it up for this one, everyone. Thank you as always for for watching the video and checking out the channel. I hope you found this video helpful in some way. Let us know if you like this type of content by hitting that like button or dislike button. It really helps the channel out a lot. But yeah, that's enough rambling out of me. Thank you again so much for watching. My name is Blake and for all things tech games to anything nerdy in between, be sure and subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time.